लूक एटीन एटीन एंड सर्टन रूलर आस डिम से गुड मास्टर वॉट शाल आई डू टू इनरेट एचर्नल लाइफ एंड जीस इज सेड एंड टू हेम वाई कॉल दाउ मी गुड नन इज गुड से वन दैट इज गॉड दाउ नो द कमांडमेंट्स डू नॉट कमेट अडल्ट्री डू नॉट किल डू नॉट स्टील do not bear false witness honor thy father and thy mother and he said all these have i kept from my youth up now when jesus heard these things he said unto him yet lack thou one thing sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor and thou shall have treasure in heaven and come follow me and when he heard this he was very sorrowful as he was very rich and when jesus saw that he was very sorrowful he said how hardly shall they have riches enter into the kingdom of god for it easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of god and they heard it said who then can be saved and he said the things which are impossible with men are possible with god what was that that broke this person's heart it was the possession of his wealth hmm. the spirit of ownership Amen. so wealth is not evil but wealth controlled by the spirit of ownership is a big big hindrance to a person entering the kingdom of god now the word enter is given what do you mean by the word enter is it an experience i'll 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 explain to you now jod go to yep. the scene when you had vertigo you could not sit you are lying on the bed and you are already crying because your your days are already given by the doctor ha huh? means not dying but you will never be able to stand yeah, you will yeah. be lying down all your life yes okay now in this state was marita worried no no Did she come and give you the book? Yes. She gave you the white book and said, "Just read this," yes. and she walked out. Yes. She left you alone. Now, was it um, was it comfortable to take the book when such a big tragedy is happening in your mind? No, not at all. I was thinking. I asked some solution, but she is giving something. What this book could do. even the doctor could not do anything there is no medicine or what this book going to do but something insisted me inside you better read it i just read only that first line i am the body of christ satan sickness you have no place in me so initially i did that the vertigo stopped only that how one line how many times did you read it hold 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 on hold on once. how many times did once. you read it once you read it once and the vertigo once. stopped Mm. immediately it stopped then it instigated me oh it stopped then i started to read it again and again and again and again wherever i go i carry that book okay now my question is you read it once mm. it stopped correct yes why did you read it again and again because you had an experience mm. and you experience the real stuff reading hans now yes. what were you saying i want to get more more i want to now i want it. to get more and more now you know there is some experience you got now even if she takes the book you say give me the book again i'll read it right yes now what did you do you entered into the okay. kingdom of god principles 
Okay. So what is enter? Experience. Experience of what? The real, true, true effect of the kingdom. Because you ask no question, the doctors could not do. Mm -hmm. What will this book do? Yes. Now, when you read the first line, now you came to know. Oh my God, this book is like a magic book. Yes. So you must have started like a magic book, but as you began to go deeper and deeper, God began to unfold the mysteries, and you began to see for the first time the real stuff. And when you got the real stuff, you got hooked up like as if you got taken drugs. See, see, it is an experience. Once you taste that experience, that's why the Bible says, "Not taste and see that the, the Lord, Lord is God. good." Unless you taste it, you will yeah. never know. You will know about God. He's talking about goodness, but when you taste it, you will say, "I'm sure about Jesus because I have got an experience, and now I have just taken the first step, and I have seen what." kingdom living is like so in the same way the word of god gives me entry to go into the kingdom and get the first taste of the kingdom of heaven praise praise god so when you have invested time in wealth you got no time to pursue for the word of god word of god so whenever you are using your time wherever you are using it means you have given it the top priority so each one of us have the option to treat anything in this world as a priority or in the kingdom of heaven as your top priority that is your freedom so the moment you went into the kingdom of wealth and you're spending your time there you won't even know you have got so trapped into that that you are being said today you did not get no tomorrow you'll get and tomorrow you'll get and tomorrow you'll get now your passion is going on increasing even more and more and you want to go in that direction now what do, what happened to you you have become a prisoner of your own passion so what is jesus trying to tell you jesus is telling those who are listening to him that a camel could go through the eye of a needle more easily than a rich man could enter the kingdom of heaven now what do you think about this statement it's a metaphor correct but tell me what is the size of a camel what is the size of a eye of a needle now when jesus spoke the eye of the needle did he have a swing needle in mind it is said in the commentary that in that part of the world the eye of the needle refers to two wooden posts which are planted vertically not horizontal vertically in the ground close enough together so that a camel can squeeze between them with only difficulty the definition of eye of the needle for us is the swing needle now the camels are not a small animal and this post was kept okay where these camels would, who had become dirty were brought over there praise god and this vertical post were, were to clean these dirty camels so the camel driver leads the camel between the two posts the camel would go through and the camel would get cleaned up so the post was so much that the camel sides are stuck against the friction to the pole and and sometimes what used to happen the camel would get go and get stuck now when he would get stuck that was the time they got good opportunity to wash the camel and give him a good bath because he is not going to run forward or backward is got stuck oh. to the post okay afterwards the the driver would get the camel out who is still west and and take him from the post further out so that he has gone through the eye of the needle the post yeah. is called the eye of the needle 
Okay. So even though he's stuck, he will drag him through that, so that his whole body is rubbed on that. And so Jesus is using an analogy. So when you look at the pole and you look at the the camel, okay. it looks very very difficult that this camel will pass through. So it is difficult for a rich man. to enter the kingdom of heaven but it is not impossible so also for the camel to pass through that post is not it is not that it is impossible but the camel has to be willing to obey his owner and when he keeps obeying the camel finds himself that he has gone through the eye of the needle but when he is coming out he is not coming out the dirty camel is coming out absolutely clean camel so also when you are going to enter the kingdom of heaven there is a post and you have to obey the owner the lord and ready to be squeezed in and not give up and see to it that you go through so that by the time you have passed through you have been cleaned completely so when you are getting cleaned what remains out is the dirt and what is the dirt that dirt is the spirit of ownership which you have left behind and now you are ready to submit to god and god is able to help you to live your life in his fullness in his plan in his purpose in his will